Hi all the 8th click viewers, sending you my heartfelt wishes and I hope you are all doing great and you're safe in your homes during the lockdown. It's my pleasure to uh, get an opportunity to represent uh, and speak about uh, gender, gender equality. I am a gender equality influencer. My name is Sahiti. I have co-founded uh, a website called impactscientist.com uh, through which I'm doing uh, impact our stories of groundbreaking women and men who are creating a dent uh, in the area of women empowerment. And I'm also uh, into consulting partnerships. So uh, with these uh, projects, I'm uh, taking forward the journey of uh, impact scientist uh, while I influence and create awareness about the economic benefits and the social benefits of uh, women participating equally in the economy. But as we are all uh, stuck and uh, facing the uh, lockdown and pandemic today, I would like to uh, just put some focus on uh, the effects of COVID-19, which is the effects of COVID-19 on the women especially and the increasing domestic violence. So. This is not a new thing which we have to uh, start a dialogue about in, in the lockdown context, but then uh, the, it is something, something which we do have to uh, rethink, uh, reimagine the scenario in terms of lockdown because uh, the effects of lockdown can be really uh, unexpected in this scenario like this in today's context. So there are more than 740 million women in, in the world who are working in the uh, um, uh, informal economy, informal sector. Uh, so they all don't have jobs today. And the men who usually take up uh, migration and uh, daily waging, which is taken by men mostly, is to do with migration also. So uh, people staying back at home and stoppage of migration and reduce and complete stop uh, lockdown of the distribution systems and the production systems have completely reduced. So this creates a chaos uh, in the society and especially oppresses the women who are staying back at home uh, and especially the marginalized communities who are the suburban and the rural populations of this country, the women there are the highly affected uh, population. And one more thing which I would like to focus is we cannot forget the fact that 70% of the healthcare frontline workers are women. So there is a certain amount of health risk which is being put on women. Uh, naturally and there is uh, a burden of uh, social care and certain amount of health risk which is being put on women uh, naturally and there is uh, a burden of uh, social care and uh, home responsibility there is an intensive uh, increase in the sexual violence intimate sexual violence and also women are sadly dealing with the alcohol discharge and the mental effects and the mental impact which uh, is created in the atmosphere around you if you're dealing with alcohol discharge without enough uh, awareness about it. So th there are so many factors which are affected because of the lockdown. And just before uh, this, all this happened, uh, recently the national budget for the women protection and child rights, I mean women reproduction and child protection has been reduced from 20% to 7% for various reasons, but then uh, all those impacts will leave a boundless, uh, boundless limitation to what we can do in terms of uh, gender mainstreaming because uh, we certainly don't know from where to begin resolving the problem of the effects of how can we reduce the domestic violence on women. So on one side, if we see uh, if women participate equally in the economy, there is uh, a scope of India increasing its economy by 18% by 2025 through equal women participation. This is, this is what we have been speaking till now, of India increasing its economy by 18% by 2025 through equal women participation. This is, this is what we have been speaking till now. But now the challenges have 
uh, transitioned into more complex and the, the complete uh, system, the supply chain of businesses around us and the jobs related to that and the impact of that on home and the absence of uh, financial, financial support because of the because of the purpose even for things like especially for things like bringing equality does not have a one-stop solution so this is a collective effect these are difficult times these are the times where we are trying to stop the spread of this huge pandemic by staying home but these this is not the time we forget that while we stay at home it's very very important to share the burden at home and male counterparts are re male male counterparts can come forward and equally participate in sharing the burden of these times and it, it goes to every it goes to every gender only because i am addressing women i specify the importance of women or what they can bring to the table if uh, they are given their voice or if they get what they deserve and if they can use resources and participate equally and uh, just like continuously working and providing things for the family it is very important the woman gets her share of uh, freedom liberation and uh, time for self-care so that uh, she can always be uh, she can always be an equal contributor heartfully without feeling the suppression and uh, let's stop the spread and share the burden thanks a lot lockdown could be doing to women and uh, where we were still dealing with uh, giving women uh, empowering women and telling them that this these are your fundamental rights and this is how we can create awareness uh, to bring in equality and how can you convert education into economic power and now the situation is back by 10 years for uh, a woman maybe in a developing country because uh, the the whole burden of maintaining the uh, mental weight and the emotional weight and the financial uh, weight of the family might uh, might as well have to be balanced by the woman and uh, these are the inclusive uh, set of elements which we have to participate collectively to be able to think and uh, our inputs are important our observations are important and our ideas are important it's very uh, important to understand the problems around us uh, repeatedly so that our solutions are uh, as accurate as possible for such a diverse uh, population that we are having around us uh, just one solution or two solutions might not serve the purpose even for things like especially for things like bringing equality does not have a one-stop solution so this is a collective effect these are difficult times these are the times where we are trying with 1.5 billion students staying back at home is creating an intensively a challenging situation for that one person in the house who is supposedly taking care of the uh, housework and so facing the domestic violence and uh, making sure nothing changes in the house the environment of the house the food and the availability of resources doesn't really change for a homemaker so uh, i think this will really take back uh, take back a woman by uh, many layers of uh, of her life and this might uh, this deprioritization of women during these times can cause a lot of uh, mental and uh, physical problems to deal with herself uh, during this period and the overall reduce in the resources also is one of the cause which impacts the woman negatively because if there is a certain amount of nutrition food in the house there are fruits or whichever delicacy is there in the house is first uh, given to the children or given to the man of the house and then to the elders and then uh, as the last priority the woman picks it so her nutrition and her well-being and her 
mental health is uh, very much discounted and deprioritized in this uh, process. So imagine what the lockdown could be doing. Thanks a lot for uh, all the 8th click viewers to give me this opportunity to speak and represent the effects of uh, COVID-19 on uh, women and the increasing domestic violence. So let us stop the spread but share the burden. Thanks a lot for watching.